foundation of everything our church family is working towards. And that particular passage of scripture in the book of Joel that speaks of, not only will he release the latter rain, which is a representative of the things that have been withheld or seemingly withheld in our lives, but he's also going to release the rain, the present rain. And then the Lord is going to just continuously pour out blessings for the future. Above and beyond, phase one was more than a capital campaign slogan. These are words we all live by, words that embody the very essence of First Baptist character and unwavering commitment to God. And today, that commitment has enabled our church to expand by erecting the Family Life Center in 2004. A bold statement to this community about our passion for urban revitalization. There's something here that draws and that's love. The scriptures teach us to walk by faith and not by sight. It is a fundamental belief that has allowed First Baptist to grow. From the time the original church building was destroyed by a storm at the beginning of the 20th century, to the very day the new building opened its doors in 1960. The faithfulness and commitment of those who came before us and those who are still here today will leave an indelible mark in the Binghamton community for years to come. Your continued faithfulness and prayers and the giving of your time and financial resources is helping First Baptist build up the kingdom of God here on earth in a community we care so much about. A prime example of the growth First Baptist Church is experiencing can be seen in the numbers. In 1999, when Pastor Keith Norman assumed leadership of our church family, there were nearly 100 members Today, there are over 1,400 members. To think that we started with so few, and the Lord has given us growth and grace to have so many, uh, it still blesses and touches my heart. Excuse me. But the only thing that I pray we can never build room enough to maintain is the glory of God. I just pray that His presence and the manifestation of his glory is always a part of this ministry. Um, his power to change lives and to give hope, to give a renewal of spirit, to see people come in broken and to be made whole, and to really live out what scripture um, holds to be true. Phase two of our capital campaign is called Above and Beyond Two, Drops of Faith. It's a campaign being developed and researched by a hardworking committee composed of our fellow members. They have been meeting and mulling over plans for weeks to ensure our dollars are best utilized. We feel, we being the, uh, the vision that, the, that uh, God has given our pastor and the pastor has conveyed it to the, the members and the members is, is in support of that. This exciting new effort will expand our church campus to accommodate the needs of this community and our growing congregation, including new land acquisitions, parking expansion, safe lighting, the construction of a health center, assistant living facility, and a new edifice. The campaign really is not about giving. The campaign is about equal participation and equal sacrifice. We pray for uh, the hearts of all people in First Baptist Church to participate. We stress 100% participation, children, young people, young adults, adults, and the seniors that are in our congregation as well. The reason we do this, and there are no tiered levels of giving, there's just simple sacrificial giving, is that everybody is not able to participate at the same level. So we want to be equitable, we want people to have the opportunity to participate and for everyone to receive the same acknowledgement for their participation. Uh, no one gives greater or no one gift is any greater than the other gift. The blight that we now see around our church will be replaced with hope. There are so many people in the Binghamton community that depends on on the church and there are so many people that don't have so we want to be the light and you know the shining example we want to be able to reach out more than what we're doing now.
to the people to let them know that they have hope, there is hope. And without hope, without that vision, people perish, we give up. But the Lord breathed new life in and through First Baptist Church, and we believe the First Baptist Church will anchor the revitalization of the entire Binghampton community. Imagine the impact. Believe in the vision. So when somebody talked to me about it, I told them I think it's a good thing. We should want our neighborhood to grow. And our pastor had did a wonderful thing on that. And it's important for us to ask God, if we don't already have it, ask God to give us what we need to follow our vision there. A vision once realized in bricks and mortar will infuse energy and pride into Bank Hampton and spark a renaissance for the people who live here. There are a lot of people our age that are in this community that have grown up in this community and it, it, it's basically gone gone to the dogs. I don't want to say it like that, but it's basically not what it used to be. And uh, I also grew up in this community as well, so I think that uh, I know what it can be. We can make it happen. We must believe in the vision. We will realize the vision. I said to them so often, I said, it the most thing that I cherished was uh, when we installed the elevator, the $200 that our cyclists to pay, but it has paid off. And, uh, but we can't just want these things. You got the cyclists in the way, brother. That hard work begins now. Above and beyond, too, Drops of Faith needs your support.